welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be talking about the topic ecosystem, and we'll be following this lecture outline. What is an ecosystem? Definitely, we'll give a lot of examples about ecosystem. We'll talk about the difference between ecosystem and ecology. Talk about the interaction in an ecosystem between the biotic and the abiotic environment. Then we'll now finally talk about the structure or component of an ecosystem. Here we talk about the biotic component or factor and the abiotic component. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a geographical area or a place where plants, animals, and other living organisms as well as weather, landscape, work together to form a bubble of life. Simply put, an ecosystem is a place where the plants there, the animals, interact that is interaction among the living as well as interacting with their non-living environment such as the air, the atmosphere, the water, the uh, hydrosphere as well as the soil, the lithosphere to form a bubble of life. The term ecosystem was first used by a British ecology called Arthur G. Tansley. Let's take a look at some examples of ecosystem. We have the forest ecosystem. You can see in the forest ecosystem, the plants there actually interact with the soil, deriving their nutrients in the soil, and the plants take in carbon dioxide to make their food through the process of photosynthesis. So there is constant interaction. Even the animals actually feed on the leaves of plants. So there is constant interaction among the living organisms in an ecosystem, as well as interaction among the um, living organisms and their environment in a particular place. Please know that ecosystem is a geographical location where this interaction is actually happening. We also have the desert ecosystem. Here we have the soil, we have the desert plants, we have the desert animals. And there is always interaction among the living, such as the desert plants and the animals, as well as interaction among the living and their physical environments, such as we have the desert animals taking in water and even air for cellular respiration. The grassland ecosystem is another example of an ecosystem. Let's take a look at the difference between ecology and ecosystem. Ecology is the study of the relationship between living organisms and their environment. Now, ecology is not actually concerned with the study of the place. We can have what we call the forest ecology. That is, it actually study the relationship between living organisms and their environment in a forest, not particularly concerned about that place or that particular forest. Why? Ecosystem is a place such as a rotting log or a piece of stone, a forest, a graveyard, where there is interaction between living organisms and their non-living environment. In ecology, we are concerned with the process, while in ecosystem, we are concerned in the process taking place in a particular geographical location. Let's talk about the structure of an ecosystem. Ecosystem is made up of two main components, namely the biotic or living component and the abiotic or non-living component. The biotic component comprises of all living organisms in the ecosystem, such as the plants, the animals, and the microorganisms. While the abiotic component comprises of all the non-living material or their physical environment, such as the hair around the organisms, the water, or even the soil. Let's discuss the biotic component of an ecosystem. It actually comprises of the producers, the consumers, and the decomposers. While the abiotic component comprises of the non-living component of the ecosystem, and they are made up of the atmosphere, that means the air around the living organism, they are made up of the hydrosphere, that means the water around the living organism, and they are also made up of the lithosphere, that is the soil around the living organism. Let's take a look at the interaction or relationship between the living component and the non-living component, that is the physical environment in an ecosystem. Let's take a look at this grassland ecosystem. 
the living component of this ecosystem is the grass, the animals, while the non-living component actually comprises of the hair around this organism, the water, as well as the soil. Now, the living organisms actually interact among themselves. For example, the animals or herbivores, those that feed directly on the grass, actually derive their nutrients from the plants, which are actually the producers. Why the carnivores, those that feed on the herbivores, actually derive their nutrients from the herbivores. So there is constant interaction among the living organisms. Even within the same species, there is also competition for food among the same uh, the organism of the same species. Now, take note that there is also interaction among these living organisms and their known physical environment. Now, the plants are actually derive their nutrients from the soil, which is a non-living component of this ecosystem. Why the animals are actually standing on the soil? For example, the animal also derive oxygen from the atmosphere, which is also a non-living component of this ecosystem. So there is a constant interaction among the living organism in this ecosystem as also interaction among the living organism and their physical environment. So this interaction in this particular geographical location is called ecosystem. This actually formed the end of this lecture. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thanks for watching.